We are on lesson 63. And I know it says homework in the corner. Don't mind it. It just, it'll be the same thing. Um, you'll just have the side that I would normally do for your Google form. Um, yeah, it's all right. It works out. We will still cover the same things um, as always. So number one says, one of these is my brother's favorite day of the week. Cross out the days of the week that cannot be my brother's favorite day of the week. So I would recommend, because there is a question like this on the Google Forms, that you just have a piece of scratch paper off to the side um, with the days written off, and that way you can cross off as needed. So our first clue says, it is not the first or third day of the week. So depending on how you look at it, um, your first day of the week may be different. But just going off of the worksheet, since they put Sunday first, we are going to count Sunday as the first day of the week. So it's not Sunday because that's the first, and then one, two, three, Tuesday would be the third day. The second clue says it does not have exactly six letters. So for all of the days that has six letters, we need to cross those off. So Monday has two, three, four, five, six. So we need to cross that off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wednesday's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thursday's good. Two, three, four, five, six. Friday needs to be crossed off because it has six letters. And then Saturday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we can keep. The next clue says it is not the last day of the week. So if we're looking at the format that they have for us on the paper, so starting with Sunday and ends with Saturday, Saturday would technically be the last day of the week. So we need to cross off Saturday. And then it says it is not the day in the middle of the week. So we know that Wednesday is our middle of the week day. So that leaves Thursday. So our answer is Thursday. Number two says put these numbers in order from least to greatest. So least is the smallest and greatest is the biggest. So from left to right, we need to move smallest to biggest. So looking here, it looks like my smallest number is 51. Next one is 54. 56. And then our Greatest number, our biggest number is 59. So we have not talked about it too much in class, but our next question deals with angles. So you'll I'll include a quick snippet of a video that kind of goes over what an angle is, but basically it's where our lines meet. So we have here, we have a line meeting here, 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 and here. So that is four angles. Next one, we have a line, two lines, two lines meeting together, I should say. Two lines that join, to, join together and they make this corner. Um, we have one, two, three, four, so we have four angles again. And then we have one, two, three angles. Gonna go up. Number five, so number four, we're going to skip. It talks about drawing a line of symmetry. Uh, we're not quite into that yet, and we just don't have the, I mean, we do, but it's not of a worry right now. 
Number five says write the fraction that tells what part of each set is shaded. So remember with our fractions, our number on the top is the number of pieces shaded, and our which is our numerator, and our denominator is how many pieces in the set do we have total. So I'll start with this one. We have one, two, three, four pieces in the set total. So that is our denominator or the number that goes on the bottom. And then on the top, we are writing the number of pieces we have shaded. So that is one. Next one, we have one, two pieces in the set total, our denominator. And then we have one piece that is shaded, which is our numerator. One, two, three pieces in our set total. We have one piece that is shaded. Next one, number six, write December 5th, 2007 using digits. So using numbers, write that date. You can use a dash or a slash, it doesn't matter. So December is the 12th month of the year. So we're going to write 12, I'll do dash, five, dash, zero, seven. Oops, and then our last one, we're just adding all those numbers together. So like the last video, I'm going to find numbers that can I can easily put together to make 10. Our camera's a little blurry here. So we have four plus three plus six plus two plus seven. So, so right now I'm going to cross off four and six because that makes 10. And then I'm going to cross off three and seven because that also makes 10. So right now we have 10 plus 10 and the only number we have left is two. So I know 10 plus 10 equals 20 plus two equals, oops, 22. Next one, we have four plus one plus four plus six plus six. So already right here, we cross them off. Four plus six equals 10. And we have another four plus six that equals 10, cross those off. 10 plus 10, we just said equals 20. And we have one left, so 20 plus one equals 21. All right. That is lesson 63. If you have any questions, just let me know.